I want to kill her. Why do you want to kill her? Why do you want to kill her? Speak. She has a great power. Which kind of power? She has the power to sing. Who are you want to destroy her? I am a magic. You're a magic. The strong man of her father's house. Strong man. Move like a strong man in the name of Jesus Christ. Move like a strong man. Sons and daughters of God, you are welcome. The footage you are about to watch happens live and direct from the Elohim Ministries. During the Sunday live prayer session, the men of God came face to face with a strong, opposing, destructive demon that have held a little girl captive. The evil spirit confessed, I want to kill her and her entire family because they are very great. I want to kill her! Why do you want to kill her? Why do you want to kill her? Speak! She has a great power! Which kind of power? She has the power to sing! Who are you want to destroy her? I am a magic. You are a magic. The strong man of our father's house. Strong man. Move like a strong man in the name of Jesus Christ. Move like a strong man. When you move like this, what happened to her? You strong man. You strong man. You strong man, look here. When you move, stand up. When you move like this, what happened to her? You strong man. Speak. Want you want to kill her. How do you operate? I want to kill her. I want to kill her. She is too great. She's too great. I want to kill her. What have done to her family? Glory. Which kind of glory? <laughs> the glory to see. The glory to see. What I've done to her career? I want to destroy. How do you want to destroy her career? How? I want to destroy it by making her poor. Making her poor. I want to kill her. She is too great. Which kind of Help greatness? Help me to kill her. I want to kill her. She is too great. <laughs> Which kind of greatness she has? She has the glory to see. The glory to see. <laughs> when, when, she, when she sees what happened to her kingdom. She becomes light in her kingdom. In her kingdom. Open your eyes. Will this man to you? Open your eyes. Will this man to you? <sighs> this man. Will this man to you? Open your eyes. This is my father. He's my father. What I've done to him? I want to kill him. You want to kill him? Why do you want to kill him? I want to kill him. Why? Why do you want to kill him? He is the enemy. He is my enemy. He's your enemy. <laughs> Which kind of enemy? He is the enemy. He's the enemy of all my jobs. Whenever I pray, he comes to come and he Whenever he prays, he destroys my charms. My charms. <laughs> What's the problem for him to pray? Why do you hate prayers? I hate it because he destroys my plans. Your plans. Which kind of plans? How many plans have you done to kill him? You say you want to kill, want to kill this man. How do you want to go about it? I want to go about it by killing him while he's sleeping. While he's sleeping. <laughs> okay. Were you sleeping when she was coming in this place? Sir? You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Who is she to you? She's my daughter. Your daughter? Yes, please. Okay. What can you say about her? And the demon confess about this? Yeah, basically what she has said is all correct. 
and it's true I, I have been struggling in my business for quite some time now and also most times if I lay my head to sleep at night I have those feelings of uh, things getting wrong although I keep believing God and that things will turn around also concerning the charm and the name she mentioned yes. has been revealed earlier my uncle that's what appeared here and that mm. has been the cause so, of contention sorry sir the sorry sir yes we all know our common enemy is satan satan is using his image to bring confusion as god can use the image of senior prophet tb joshua or as man daniel so satan is our common enemy yes if you want to fight your uncle you are fighting a wrong battle okay yes uh -huh. so i confirm everything she said correct how about when you sleep what what kind of dreams do you have because she say they want to kill you when you are, while you are sleeping. Terrible dreams. Terrible but dreams. I keep praying. Okay. You strong man? What have you done to his career? I want to destroy his career. His career. Okay. How many of you are in this body? Speak in the name of Jesus Christ. How many of you are in this body? We are four. Four. <laughs> Number one? A Python. Python. What's your all as a python? What's, what's your all? Move like a python? Move like a python, Jesus Christ. Move like a python. Hey, number two, you said you are four. Number two? Coughing. I want to bury her. Number three. I am a spirit that make her angry. Number four. I am the spirit of bullying. Bullying. Okay. You said you are spirit of. Okay. As a python, what have you done to his family? As a python. Eats up all his hard work. Good. Okay. Okay. You said you are, you are a spirit of bullying. What's your assignment? To his... My assignment is to kill all of them in the family. In the family. Okay. Spirit of coughing. What's your assignment? I want to kill her when she is sleeping. She always has a feeling that. Any time that she's walking, she feels like as if she wants to fall down and die. <laughs> I want her to die. What you I say, think sir? that is applicable to me. Yes, sir. Yes. Most times if I'm walking, because based on the nature of my work, I'm always pressured and that's weakened me in the process of the work. So that's something I will just shut down. And stop everything. I'll have to rest before I'll start all over again. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Okay, bullying. What I've done to her? Speak I bullying. give her the spirit to beat up her brothers and sisters. Exactly. That is for her. That's. Just her angry and it's molting. Okay. What I've done to her family? Speak of bullying. I beat up her brothers and sisters. What I speak rudely to them. Exactly. That's for her. What are the things you have forced her to do? Mention I, them. I forced her to keep I forced her to beat and wound her brothers and sisters. Okay. So you speak of Python? Speak I eat up all his hard work. I want to kill her. I want to. I want her to. I want her to beat up her brothers and sisters and talk rudely to them. Elohim. 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 First and foremost, I want to thank you all for your patience, for your love and commitment to first God of Elohim ministry 
and your genuine heart of love for Wiseman Daniel. Thank you and happy Easter to you and your entire family. In my quiet place, I am watching this deliverance and uh, I want to comment on this deliverance. It is true you are looking at a very small girl, small girl in flesh, but the spirit speaking in her is older than everybody there, going by age. And I will say congratulations to the father. I will say congratulations to her parents. I will say congratulations to the entire family. Imagine if this girl was not discovered today and she spent, she become 30 years old in that family or 40 years old in that family. It means the, the family will continue to go through 40 years problems. This is the problem many have gone through from when they were possessed at the tender age to when they became older. So it means at this age now, she is delivered, the family is free. But if she is not delivered, the family will continue this problem until when they meet a higher power like this to set her free. But I will say congratulations, sir, the father. This is the beginning of a new dawn. Congratulations for your daughter to receive the resurrection power of Jesus Christ at Easter. Congratulations to your family that you have received the resurrection power of Jesus Christ at Easter. So this is my encouragement to you as a father. What is happening now is to let you know that freedom has come. God has heard your prayers. God has heard your prayers. So members of Elohim Ministry, viewers all over the world, very soon I will join you and I'm praying for you. Thank you. So my brother, my friend, Constantine, please go ahead and deliver the baby. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. Thank you, sir. God bless you. You speak of Strongman, how did you enter? I entered through our dreams. Through our dreams. So your time has expired to this body and to her family. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the resurrection, through the middle of you from heaven, I command you, be free in Jesus Christ's name. Be free. Amen. Down she goes under the power of the mighty to you from heaven. At the mention of the name Jesus, every knee must bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Thank Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We are delivered. Thank you, Jesus. We are free. Hello, little girl. Please, congratulations. Jesus Christ has set you free through the middle of you from heaven. The demon said, the demon attacked you. You are guilty of singing. So now you are free. Can you sing for the glory of God? You are Yahweh.
Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? Elohim. Elohim. My name is Juan Achido Zewana. I am nine years old. The people standing beside me is my father, my mother, and my siblings. I am from Imo State, but I stay in Ninja State. The problem that brought me to the everlasting light of hope ministry is the spirit of anger and the spirit of beating up my brothers and sisters. It all started when I was in primary one. When we came back from school, I felt something entered me. So anytime, so that day, when my brothers and sisters were trying to talk to me, I would just get angry and beat them up. This continued to go on to go to the extent that I wound and injure them, and I speak to them rudely, and to the extent that my father calls me a bully. Every day, I'm always on punishment. The dream I've been having since this bully have started was so terrible. The dream that I had was when my mother was in the kitchen and another form of my mother was outside. So I was now wondering in the dream, like, who is this person that is outside? I saw a bottle on a bottle that that looks like like the dew from heaven. So I now carried it and I spread it on my mother in the kitchen. Nothing happened. I opened the window. The, the person just looked like exactly like my mother. So I now spray it on the person. The person disappeared. That is how I woke up from that dream. I was so afraid in the night. I was so afraid in the night that I could not sleep anymore. And, I'll, and as these dreams go on, I will not be able to sleep. One In the middle of the night, I will just wake up. I will not be able to sleep again. So when I came to the everlasting light of hope... Before, before you go on telling us about the experiences you had while you were being prayed for through the medium of the dew from heaven. Can you please tell us how did this spirit transcend in your school? How were you relating with your classmates? Well, it disturbed me very, it disturbed my academics and it also disturbed me not relating with people well. Anybody that talks to me, I just get angry and start fighting the person and insulting the person. So if I try to talk to them, normally they will insult me and fight me back. And I don't want to beat anybody's child in the school, so I just have to cry it out. And this dream that will always be haunting me is a, is a dream that where I saw a python, it beats me and my brothers and sisters. We are on the floor crying and bleeding. We stayed for like two hours and we were there lifeless. When I woke up, I saw, I felt a moving object around this side of my leg. So after, so I start wondering what kind of dream is this and why is it turning into a reaction? So I prayed and I slept back. The following morning, the dream became so painful. I was just enduring it. If you see, I'll just have to be raising my leg and be walking like this sometimes. I'll have to be walking like this. I will not walk well. It will be painful. So when I came to the everlasting light of hope ministry... So you meant to say you had a dream where you were being beaten by a python. Yes. And then when you woke up from that dream, physically you started having pains on that very leg. Yes. And it cost you itching. 
Yes, it was painful and it will be itching me. Sometimes it will, the itching will be so much, I will not want to itch that side. Because if I itch it, um, I will, my skin will start peeling. Okay. Tell us what was your encounter with um, the evangelist when you were on the prayer line, while you were being ministered the dew from heaven? My encounter with the evangelist, when he sprayed the dew on me, I felt a sensation. I felt somebody it, like a sensation like that. It touched me. That's when I now fell down under the power of the dew from heaven. So after that day, so after that prayer, that Sunday, I never beat anybody. I do not beat anybody. I do not talk to anybody. I do not beat anybody. I do not talk to anybody rudely. I just thank God. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? The week after that, after the prayer, I had a dream. So my mommy, we were going somewhere to go and buy some food stuff. Then behind us is a uh, auto rickshaw where uh, one woman, she was covered with black. Her face was also covered with a black mask. So she now jumped down. She brought out a pot from her bag. Then she starts raising it up and down, raising it up and down. So it now made us very weak to pray. That is when rain now fell. When the rain touched her, she started shouting, fire, 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 fire. She now run, she now run away. So that pot. So that pot that she left behind is broke and the strength to break and our strength came back. So we, we continue our journey. When we reached a place where it was filled with bush, our robbers came out and they asked for our money. So the keke man gave them everything that was in his pockets. His phone, his wallet, his uh, everything that is his ATM card, everything. So my mommy gave them her purse. They now told me to hold. They now gave me one small ball and told me to put it on my mommy's clothes. So I now hold the ball and put it on my mommy's clothes. The thing refused to remove. So they now said that you have something with you. She brought out her phone and dropped it there. The 15 error that I'm supposed to use and buy something from my brothers and sisters, I dropped it there. So it rained again. Then the rain touched them. They said, fire, 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 fire. They left their guns and they ran away. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? Shall we put our hands beautifully together for the miracle working God? This is indeed a confirmation that she has been separated from the kingdom of darkness, covered by fire, and now she's dwelling in the kingdom of light. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus once again? With what God Almighty has done in the life of you and your family, what is your promise to God and what is your advice to people listening to you? My advice to children with the same problem that I had is to always is to always pray to God, meditate on your Bible and be and build a strong relationship with God and to their parents. I say, be watchful about your children's character, observant about their character, 
because you may not know what they are going through. Them, some keep it to themselves. Some voice it to their parents. Don't take anything that they say for granted because it is what they are saying that is true. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? We have listened to our very intelligent young sister advising the parent to please be observant of the characters of their children. Remember that what looks ordinary in the physical may have extraordinary effects in the spirit. Let us be watchful and let us train up our, kid, our kids in the way of the Lord. So what is your promise to God Almighty? I promise to use my voice to sing for him always till it is time for me to leave the earth. This kind of love I've never seen, I've never seen. Your love is overwhelming me, oh. Your goodness just they carry me go. Anywhere I go, anywhere I touch, I see your faithfulness each day. This kind of love I've never seen, I've never Yeah. 
I shepherd, I shall not want. The Lord has provided more than enough, no matter where I go. Oh, victory is my name. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. The Lord has provided, the Lord has provided more than enough, no matter We thank God Almighty for this wonderful reunion and we pray that God Almighty will continue to give you the grace to use your gift to continue to glorify God Almighty. Amen. Now that the spirit of bullying has been cast aside, can you please once again walk up to your family, your siblings and give them a wonderful hug. Show them that yes indeed. You have been cast aside. The spirit of bullying has been cast aside to the glory of God. We thank God for what Almighty has done in the life of this wonderful family. Ma'am, can we please hear from you as the mother of little honor? What do you have to say concerning all of the testimonies that she has. Elohim. My name is Mrs. Grace Chidoze Wanna. Next to me is my daughter, Hono. Next is my husband. Okay. My husband and my wonderful kids. My testimony is to the glory of God. I really want to thank God for what he did for my family here on Sunday. You know, while I was coming, I didn't really have any prayer points. But one thing I just kept saying to God is, Father, I am coming to the everlasting light of hope ministry. Please, let this your light shine so bright in the womb of darkness that whatsoever it is that is hidden be exposed and I really want to give God the glory because that is exactly what happened I thank God for my daughter's deliverance my daughter here she she's a very loving girl as small as she is she is more of a mother figure, even as small as she is. She always look out for her younger ones. So suddenly I began to notice strange change, you know, deviant behaviors in her. And I began to wonder. So it continued. And then there's this time her dad came to visit us because we are in Mina. But he is either in Kaduna or Abuja. So he came to visit and then I began to complain to him. I said, I'm noticing strange change in, this, um, in my daughter's character. Little thing, she gets angry. 
Even if her younger ones, they are playing with her. She knows they are playing, no, but she'll take it personal. Every little thing, she'll beat them. Like, the way she's behaving is making the atmosphere in the house not even conducive. Every day they are crying. They are reporting her. So, at the time, I, I, I called her and I was like, I don't like this thing you're doing. What is all this? How come you can't just calm down, you know, and play with your, your siblings? And she was like, I beg that they are all making her angry. That everything they do just makes her angry. I said, why? And then she made a statement that, oh, how she even wish she doesn't even have brothers and sisters. I said, what? Do you know the, the implication of what you're saying? Look at you. Look at God has blessed you. This is something that other people are looking for. Why are you saying this? So, you know, when she was manifesting this character, for me, I, I, I didn't attach any spiritual meaning to it. For the, benefit, just... for the benefit of the viewers, for the benefit of people listening all over the world, please note that all of the confessions that they are making now are not being perpetrated by this little one. As we watched earlier in the video clip, our friend, our brother, Wiseman Daniel, educated everyone that the spirits that is tormenting her and causing her to say all of those things are being perpetrated by an old demon. A demon that was even older than everyone seated in the arena. So please take note that all of these things they are manifesting now are not being wrought by this little one. We thank God that the spirit that has tormented her and tormented her family, her siblings, has been cast out to the glory of God. Please, madam, continue with your testimony. Thank you, Jesus. So when she, she started um, manifesting the character, when her dad came, I explained everything to him. And then, you know, when she was doing what she was doing, I never attached any spiritual uh, meaning to it. I just felt probably, you know, when they are growing, they just keep changing characters, probably because of the um, association they keep or whatever. I don't, really know, I don't really know what is the problem. But seriously, I never saw anything spiritual in it. And so I kept on talking to her, punishing her. In fact, her dad will, you know, threaten her, you know, just to see if we can get her back to her senses. And then it continued. This thing continued to the point that she began to become really rude. I can't tell my daughter to go and do something. She will not. And even if she has to go, it's because, oh, if I don't go, my mom will beat me. So it's not as if she's going because she's happy or willing to go and deliver the message. No. She will just go and do it grudgingly. You know, the attitude was just too much. And then sometimes I'll tell her, do you see the way you are looking? You know, there's a way these bullies, they look. They, they don't look nice. So she was beginning to carry that future in her. I said, do you see the way you are looking? Go and look at the mirror. Look at your face. You are changing. Every time you are looking angry. Every time. Why? It's not good. You are a woman. So, you know, I kept on talking to her. Not until when we came here and God exposed everything. And also, um, down to her, her school. There was this day I went for open day. So I met with the class teacher. And then she began to talk to me. And she said, wow, she loved my daughter. She loved the way she behaves. She loved her, you know, her outstanding performance and every other thing. But that, that, that my daughter has a problem. That if my daughter gets angry today, you know, even she, the teacher, if she's trying to talk to my daughter to calm her down, she will not listen until she go ahead to do that thing that she wants to do. She will disregard her teacher. You know, the way she relates with her peers in school, it's not even nice. So the teacher was complaining to me. And I also confirmed to the teacher that, yes, even at home, it's the same thing I'm battling. So, and you know, the teacher encouraged me. I should be praying for her and all of that. And I said, okay, I will. And that was how I left that very day. So I just want to thank God for everything. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? So, Madam, please tell us what are the changes that you have noticed since after her deliverance to the glory of God? Thank you, Jesus. After her deliverance, do you know, delib deliberately, I've been watching her. I just want to see this girl has changed from that Sunday till today. I've not heard, oh, mommy, honor did this. Mommy, honor beat me. Mommy, honor kicked me. I've not heard anything. 
the whole, now the atmosphere in the house is just calm and peaceful because normally she was the one then that used to trigger the whole noise but now everywhere is calm everywhere is peaceful even the younger ones they are okay they are fine they are happy so since that on sunday her character has changed completely to the glory of god shall we put our hands together for jesus madam we also listen to you talk about the face that was changing because of the spirit of anger can you tell us how is the face looking now <laughs> Now she's looking more beautiful. <laughs> Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? Shall we put our hands together for Jesus Christ? And also, the way she used to bully her younger ones, she has stopped. In fact, right now the table has turned. Instead of them coming to report her, now she's the one coming to always report them. <laughs> Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? Shall we put our hands together beautifully for the miracle working God? Indeed, the evidence of Christ in us is life's change. And we can see that the mother has explained to us that there has been a radical transformation in the life of her daughter since after her deliverance through the medium of the dew from heaven. Madam, with what God Almighty has done in the life of your daughter, please tell us what is your advice to people listening to you and what is your promise to God Almighty? Okay, my advice to those who are listening to me is, you know, my daughter, she, she said something that whenever your children are complaining, you should be listening to them. Of course, you should listen to them. You know, these things, at times, we will just be looking at it from the physical, not knowing that it has spiritual connection. So please, let's listen to our children. Let's watch them. Let's watch whatever change in their character or behavior and let's always remember them in our prayers and my promise to god is to bring up my children in a very godly way thank you let us please listen to our father we know that you might have one or two things to add elohim Elohim, my name is Achidozi Ewana, David Innocent. My lovely wife, Grace Chidozi Ewana, my daughter, Honor Chidozi Ewana, and my son, Triumphant Chidozi Ewana. I have Treasure Chidozi Ewana, Great Chidozi Ewana, and Wealth Chidozi Ewana. I, I, when the Lord taught the captivity of Zion, they were just like men that were just dreaming. And you can see how my mouth was just full of laughter. My joy is no, no bound. I have returned to this everlasting light to return glory to God for his faithfulness. I, I want to thank God for the mighty deliverance upon my wife, upon my daughter, Honor whom God has decided to use to liberate the entire family. I, I want to thank God for all he has done. Due to the nature of my work, I'm not always stable with them. And uh, when I came back, my wife always reports her deviant behavior. And I also observed that decline in her academics. Because in her school, she used to be the overall best, but suddenly, two times now, two years now, the thing has declined. She's either 95, 96% overall, which has no dived. I, I was worried last time when they presented their results. I said, what happened to you? Why all this? What, what is happening to you? So, but I want to thank God. The whole thing has ended today. I also want to thank God for the mighty deliverance he has given to me. Because in the course of the deliverance, the devil talk about the python that has always swallowed a lot of things and distorts the business. And we keep struggling. We will work 
at the tail end, it will look as if what we are doing is not really producing result. And suddenly, it will just vanish like a, from nowhere. But immediately after the deliverance on Tuesday, I, I had a dream, I had a dream of night myself. So I observed in the course of the dream, I was going to a particular place. I saw a I saw a, a woman standing, but she was putting on a black linen, covered her face properly. But suddenly, I saw her vomiting money, foreign currencies, out of her mouth. So I was scared. I was like, this man, has, they have used her for Yahoo. Somebody just appeared beside me, said, that is your money. Take it. That has been your money. Take it. So I just woke up from the sleep. I said, wow, thank you, Jesus, because this deliverer has caused this massive. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? Shall we put our hands together for Jesus Christ? Indeed, the spirit of Python that has unjustly caused this family pain suffering and disappointment has been cast out and all of their riches in Christ Jesus has been restored fully to the glory of God. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus once again? So sir, very quickly before you leave, please tell us what are the changes that you've noticed in the life of your daughter Ono? Yeah, I, I'm so excited to be standing here and uh, since last week till this week, just as the mod has said, we've been observing. And we want to thank God that a lot has changed. And we believe there's calmness and there's serenity in the home. So we want to thank God for mighty deliverance. The bully is not happening. There's just emotional swing there and there. It's not really happening in the home. And we have seen her being reserved, behaving the way she, being supportive this time around. Unlike before that, she's just fighting everybody. I want to return glory to God for this great act. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus Christ? We rejoice with you, sir, and with what God Almighty has done in the life of your daughter, and indeed in the life of the entire family. Please tell us what is your promise to God Almighty, and tell us what is your advice to people listening to you. My promise to God Almighty is I will continue to serve him. He created me for a purpose and that's why I'm here. So serving him is one of the purpose at which he has created me to. I will devote more of myself, my time to the things of God and I will do that throughout through time. I also want to pass this to parents, particularly to fathers. Particularly to fathers. Most times we really do not have that time to sit down and engage properly. Maybe from the work, you are pressured back home. The next thing you want to do, take your shower and just go into your room. What do you want? Take, take the money. But that, that is not all you need to provide as a father. I want to call on more fathers to be more vigilant. Have a private engagement from time to time with your children and engage them properly so that you can be able to understand what are their behaviors, what are the things that are happening to their behaviors. So I call on Father to be more observant and they should support the women and support the whole family in making sure that these children are brought up properly in the way of God. Thank you. We rejoice with you for this wonderful testimony and for the visitation of God upon the life of your family. And we want to continue to urge you to please intensify efforts in training these kids in the way of the Lord so that they might not depart from it. Viewers all over the world, please stay tuned as this is a compact deliverance. Not only was the daughter delivered last week Sunday, the wife 
also enjoyed deliverance and the power of the Holy Spirit. But before we listen to her, please let us watch our media sets to see how it all happened. witnessing the resurrection power of God, setting people free, bringing back healing, deliverance. Fire of a body. Fire in my hand. What do you mean? Fire in Jesus Christ's name. Fire in the blood of Jesus Christ. Fire in the blood of Jesus Christ. Fire in the blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ's name. Let us continue to watch our screen and see how the mighty power of God speaks. Oh, fire, 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 fire. Speak. Well done to her, our family. Speak out. Fire. Well done to her career. Her marriage. Her family. Speak. Well done to her. I, I, I. You do what? I, you do what? I, you do what? Speak. I, Speak. I am, uh, Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Speak. Uh, Speak, who are you? Foundation. From the foundation. From the foundation. From the foundation. Do you know how long? Uh, Do you know longer? If the battle of Jesus Christ, speak out of that to her. Her family, speak in Jesus Christ. Speak out. Okay. Speak out of Jesus Christ. Speak out. Of that to her family, speak. Her marriage. Family. I want to destroy. To destroy. How do you want to destroy her? Stop and answer. Speak to them. Speak out. Fire out of the body. Fire out of the body. Fire out of the body. Speak out. You see this? You see? Let's go. Which girl? This girl. Fire in Jessica's name. Speak out of that to her. Speak in Jessica's Speak out of that to her. Fire, fire. Fire in my tongue. Fire in my tongue. Fire in my tongue. Speak out of that to her. Her career, her family. Speak. There's no hiding place. Speak. You say you destroy her. How? You want to kill her. Why do you want to kill her? Why? How? 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 No. Fire in Jessica's name. Fire, fire, everybody. Fire, everybody. Fire in my hands. Fire in my hands. Fire in my hands. Fire in my tongue. Fire in my tongue. Fire in my tongue. Fire in my tongue. In Jesus Christ's name. Continue to watch your screen. Yes, I require this body. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you, be free in Jesus Christ's name. Be free in the blood of Jesus Christ. Be free in Jesus Christ's name. Down she goes under the power of God. Put your hands together for Jesus. Madam, stand up. Hello, sir. Who is this woman to you? That's my wife. She's our wife. Okay. And this daughter? My daughter. Okay. Madam? Yes. 
Who is this man to you? It's my husband. Yeah. It's my husband. And we are, we are just yesterday, 11 years anniversary. We celebrate our 11 years in marriage. So we thank God for this deliverance. I say 11 years gifts from God Almighty. And we give glory to God for this. Okay. Sorry, sir. I have a message from wise man Daniel. First of all, he said, congratulations for the deliverance. Thank you, sir. And also, he said, you are, this daughter, yes. her growth has been, dis, has been restored. Amen. So from now on, you are, being, you are free. And when, it's, when he, he comes back, yes, sir. he want to see you. Okay, you sir. and your family. Right, and he pray with you. Okay, sir. Yes, so you are free. Amen. And congratulations. Amen. Madam. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus Christ has set you free. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. I am free. Thank you, Jesus. See how far you brought me. I'm so glad you found me. We have watched the screen of our television. Madam, please tell us what is your name, introduce the people standing with you, and share with us your wonderful testimony. Elohim. My name is Mrs. Grace Chidozionwana. Standing very close to me is my darling husband. This is my son, Uche. This is my daughter, Honor. This is my daughter, Treasure, and this is my daughter, Great. Okay, and I have a baby called... I said I have a little baby called Wealth. Thank you, Jesus. The problem that brought me to this ministry, Elohim ministry, is the problem of attack demonic attack usually through dreams now most times i'll have this terrible dream and then not quite long my health will go under serious attack this all began um, in 2020 december to be precise i had a dream in that dream i was shot in two different occasions and i was bleeding and I woke up and I explained to my husband and we prayed. And in that period, I was just three months pregnant then. So, immediately after the dream, not up to three weeks, not even up to a month, suddenly, I had a miscarriage. And after that miscarriage, that was just the beginning of my health crisis. Every night, if I sleep, it's as if they're just waiting for me to just lie down, let them come and feed me. I keep on eating in the dream back to back. Every night. If I'm not eating in the dream, I am being chased by snakes in the dream. Pythons in the dream. Or someone will inject me in the dream. Or I'll see myself in my former place where I'm living or I'll see myself dead you know just nightmares terrible dreams and once I wake up my health will just be under attack before I came here on Sunday for my deliverance on Monday I had another terrible dream in this dream someone came and used an axe and hit me at the center of my head and immediately I woke up hmm, I was worried and I was praying. So when I came into Abuja, I said I must undergo the prayer line. And that was how I came for the prayer line. 
So, while we were on the prayer line, when the, the evangelist, the minister, the Jew, now, before he got to me, I couldn't explain. I just started shivering. He was still foul. But where I was, I was already shivering. So I was trying to comport myself. But it wasn't working. So before he got to me, very close to me, he was just coming. The next thing, after that, I don't even know what happened anymore. I just saw myself manifesting. And this has really, really affected me. Because every time, I'm always having this health situation. And funny enough, even if I go to the hospital to run tests, the doctor will say, Madam, you are okay. There's nothing wrong with you. The only thing is just be um, engaging in exercise. That's all. Your body is okay. Everything is fine. Your result is showing that you are okay. But deep within me, I know I'm not fine. Like I'm just dying slowly and gradually. If I'm walking, let's say I'm walking now, or I'm going out, I'll be scared. It's as if maybe on the road I'll just collapse and that'll be it. Or there's this serious dizziness I always feel. It's as if I want to fall every time. Like I'm not just confident of myself because of my health. Even my business, the way I'm supposed to put in my all, go to my place of business, you know, give it my best. I can't because everything I'm doing, I'm just managing my body. I'm just managing my health. I'm the only one that knows what I'm passing through. So that's how it affected me. We have listened to our mother run us through how severe these demonic attacks were. So, madam, please tell us, run us through the experiences you had while you were being prayed for through the medium of the dew from heaven on the prayer line. While I was on the line, when the evangelist was coming close to me, before he even came close, he was somehow not too far, but before he came to minister, they do to me myself. Already, I was already losing control. I was just trying to, you know, comport myself, be myself, but I could not. So from there, I just, by the time he just ministered, they do on me. I just went under the anointing. We thank God for the wonderful deliverance that you received last week Sunday. Please tell us what are the changes that you've noticed in your health after your deliverance? Okay. Now, before then, I'm always feeling sick. And then even while the del deliverance was going on, I noticed myself kind of forcefully removing um, rings out of my hands. And I heard a spirit talking to me inside of my ear that I have divorced her. I have divorced her. So I really want to thank God because I want to believe that's a mighty deliverance from probably the spiritual husband. So I want to thank God for that deliverance. And right now, even in my health, I feel okay. I feel very, very good. I feel very, very confident. I feel very, very strong. If it was before, the way I'm standing here, in my head, I'll be thinking maybe any moment I'll just collapse here. But for a while now, I'll be standing here and I'm still strong. I'm very okay. So I return all the glory to God. And please tell us, are you still having those nightmares? No, since my deliverance here on Sunday, I have not encountered any of such nightmares again. My dream, I sleep peacefully, I wake up peacefully, all to the glory of God. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? Shall we put our hands together for Jesus Christ? We rejoice with you for this wonderful deliverance that you've enjoyed through the medium of the dew from heaven. With what God Almighty has done in your life, please tell us what is your advice to people listening to you and what is your promise to God Almighty? Okay, my advice to those who are listening to me is that no matter the situation you are in, you should always believe in God and of course look for a Bible living church. You know, the way it is Will I say it is my belief in God that has even kept me this far? Because each time I'm under that attack, God always comes through for me through divine mercy and intervention. So always believe in God. Put your trust in God. With this kind of situation I'm having, if it were to be some people, they'll start jumping from here and there looking for a solution. But no, I stayed put. 
I said it is only God that will bring me out of this and today I am free. So in whatever situation you find yourself, just keep your faith and believe in God. He will do it for you. And I promise to always continue to serve God because I feel the bread he has given to me is for me to glorify him. So I'll keep on serving him with my life. Thank you. Put our hands together for Jesus once again. When, when my daughter was going through her own deliverance, you know, the spirit was shouting that um, how can she sing and all of that. And whenever she, she manifests, she speaks, I will be manifesting. So I got to also understand that the grace for singing is also in the family. I just want to use this particular song just to glorify God. Komina na kane, komina na kane, komina na kane, ya Yesu, komina na kane, Yesu. cannot destroy the glory of God in me. So we put our hands together for Jesus Christ. The gift of God in this family is there for all to see. We rejoice with you, madam, with this wonderful testimony in Christ Jesus. Let us please listen to our father. We know that you might have one or two things to add. Elohim. I like, I really lack what to appreciate God for his mighty deliverance upon my family. This is a complete pack deliverance. And I also want to thank God and thank God for this deliverance. Uh, all what my wife has been saying is true it affected the business negatively and we we have to lose a lot because of lack of supervision on the business and uh, beside that most time if my wife is going out she always say I feel as if I will not be able to come back I need somebody to go with me so all these experience were things we were really passing through as a family and so many times she would tell me, I have this spiritual man thing. But I want to thank God for the deliverance that he has granted to my daughter, to my wife, to my entire family. I'm super excited and I'm grateful to God for his wonderful day. I also, in the course of the 
uh, deliverance, the, I also God spoke a word to me. So I'm, I'm here. Before you go any further into your own testimony, because we understand that you also received a word of prophecy a while back. Before you go into that very testimony, can you please tell us what is your advice to people listening to you and what is your promise to God Almighty? My advice is to always uh, look inward and provide a necessary support in every situation. And one thing is paramount is if your faith is not alive, you end up losing everything to lack of faith. So you must keep your consciously keep your faith alive. The work of keeping faith alive is the work of winning any form of welfare, warfare. So I, this is my advice. And I promise God that I will continue to serve him. I will continue to dedicate my family to the things of God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We rejoice with your family for those wonderful deliverance that you've received in the power of the Holy Ghost. Now this family has indeed been set aside for the Lord's special attention. Indeed, we listen to our father say he received a word of prophecy. But before he goes into the full testimony, let us please watch our media sets for a better understanding of how this word of prophecy came to be. How are you, sir? How are you, sir? There's a drug you are taking. And this drug, instead of relieving you, is making your heart to be pumping faster. Yes, sir. I'm on hypertension drug, sir. Making your heart to be pumping faster. When your heart begins to pump faster, cardiac arrest is very close. I'm seeing your enemy slumming. That's why the deliverance is very important. If you climb little thing, absolutely shake his. You must open your mouth to sup supplement your, your nose. Yes, sir. To breathe. Yes, sir. Cry in the mouth of Jesus Christ. Out! Out in the mouth of Jesus Christ. Out in the mouth of Jesus Christ. Cry! They are operating the heart. They are operating the heart. See sharp pain in the heart now. Jesus. They are operating the heart. 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 Hey! The mighty Jesus Christ. Hey! 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, the name of Jesus Christ. Hey, the name of Jesus. Go out. Oh, the name of Jesus Christ. Go out. 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 Uh huh. What is out? The. They call it uh, artery. I don't know what they call it in uh, the medical like artery. What connects to the heart that pumps blood is blocked. That's why when you climb the staircase, the heart is looking for opportunity to pump. But it's difficult. So the, the breathing will be going up. He has to use his uh, his mouth to supplement the the more no strain. The mighty of Jesus Christ. And after this deliverance, now in the next two minutes, the operation will be completed. If you ask him to breathe in and out, he will tell you something has left the heart. To tell you it's completed thank you Lord. I rise up stand up thank you Jesus thank you Jesus I'm delivered thank you Jesus in the name of Jesus okay can you before now, you know how difficult it is for you to breathe. Eh? Very well. uh, can, can you breathe in and out and tell us how you feel? Now, now, now. 
So I know what something has left your heart. Yes, sir. How? Breathe in and out. <sighs> How? I'm fine, sir. Love for Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. That's God for you. You're free. Thank you, Jesus. I'm delivered. Elohim. I I want to stand on already existed introduction. My family. Uh, my names are Chido Zewana David. And uh, here are my wonderful family. I the words of God came to me, the word of prophecy came to me through God's servants. And he said <clears throat> there is a drug that was taken that instead of the drug to subside the pain I I got an increased heart palpitation each time I take the drug and which I confirm to be true I had a I have a waist pain and I went to the hospital and requested for a prescription and they prescribed some drugs for me so unknowingly to me one of the drugs was actually a control drug that was prescribed and each time I take that drug my heart palpitation increases and that was actually why I traveled from Kaduna to attend delivering uh, prayer line to join the prayer line that Sunday myself so lucky enough God's word came directly to me and it delivered me from that heart plantation and i also want to confirm that immediately uh mind of god talk about the drugs my consciousness was not really too fast until when he repeated it then he now down yes i'm having such uh palm, heart palpitation so that was when i now confirmed immediately that that drug was so immediately i left on Mon on tuesday back to kaduna i went and met the doctor i said why did you have to give me such kind of uh, medication and I have to go and confront him and say why I, I would you give me such kind of medicine so he told me in his own medical term I say it's okay I don't need the drugs again since that day I have received my healing the heart palpitation is not really happening again to me so since that day I've received my healings and God has helped me in that heart palpitation. Although most times if I before the deliverance, most times if I'm climbing a staircase or I'm taking a long distance walk I either do it slowly or sometimes when I, when I do a lot of things, I will really have to support my breath with my mouth to do. And, and most times I have to get I have to get support in some things that I need to ordinarily do by myself. So, but that really affected my productivity even in the office and because sometimes once I stand up, I want to go and supervise some things, I will not be able to do it effectively. But I want to thank God for this deliverance and that deliverance has brought healing to my heart and to my chest. To God alone be all the glory. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? Shall we put our hands together for Jesus Christ? We thank God Almighty for this wonderful healing. So can you please demonstrate to us the things that you couldn't do and you can do freely now to the glory of God? As I then, it was difficult for me to take a long breath in and which I can do now. So I would like to take a long breath in. So to God be the glory. So we I, put I, can our hands to together for Jesus. I can even hold my bread. I can even hold my bread for a long time and the weakness of the body has all disappeared. To God alone be all the glory. And as you are breathing in and out, are you still experiencing this heart's palpitations? No. So we put our hands together for Jesus Christ. We thank God Almighty for this wonderful healing that you've enjoyed and the power of the Holy Ghost. With what God Almighty has done in your life, and in the life of your family, please tell us what is your advice to people listening to you and what is your promise to God Almighty? 
Elohim. God's work are mighty. God's work are wonderful. We are excited as family. And for this packaged deliverance upon this family, we are excited of what God has done. And we are not taking anything here for granted. My advice to families is, I have said it earlier, just be positive, keep your faith alive, relate with God more, make our time to pray as family, make our time to pray as a father, make our time to pray as a mother, so that you can intercede for the family, intercede for the for as a father, intercede for the family separately and intercede for the family collectively. So this is my advice. Consistently make that a way of life, no matter your tight schedules of the day. That's my advice to the parents and to everyone that is watching this. Rejoice with you for what God might see as one in your life. Can we please listen to your wife? We know that she might have one or two things to add. Elohim, I, I just want to say thank God for what he has done in the life of my husband. I want to thank God because it's not easy, you know, every time, whenever the, the situation comes up, the first person, of course, you call upon is me. Oh, he came, this place is paining me. This one, that one, you know, it's not easy. And I kept on praying, always putting him in my prayer. I kept on praying for him, and I, and I really want to thank God because God has done this for us. So may the name of God be glorified. Put our hands together for Jesus. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus Christ? Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button as a way to support the channel. We are grateful for all your efforts. Open your lips, open the door of your heart. Thou power of deliverance. Everyone that is here today, I speak to your heart, I speak to your soul, every demonic activities within and outside you, I command them out in the name of Jesus. Say demonic activity. In the name of Jesus, out of my life, begin to command them out. Command them out. In the name of Jesus Christ. She's my daughter. Deliver her for me, man of God. Who are you? I am the woman in the water. Who is this man? I don't know him. I am nobody to him. What do you want to say then? She's my daughter. He say you are a daughter. I'm not his daughter. Who is she? I don't know. Stand up and look at his face. The one inside of her is the one talking. The life you people live is hopeless life. Life without power, girl. Look at your daughter saying he doesn't know you. Assume you have been living in line with the power. She will not face you to say she doesn't know you. And you give back to her. Where did you meet the woman, mama? I met with her in the Medjugorje Borno State. The whole thing started from the connection. When you people met, it wasn't an issue of marriage, but later resort to it. At the beginning, it was a different thing. Yes, sir. Who are you? I am the woman in the water. How come about woman in the water? Who is your father then? I don't have a father. Who is your mother? I don't have a mother. How old are you? I don't have an age. Touch your daughter. I don't know this man. Carry your daughter. Your father has carried you. I said it's not my father. But somebody carry you. Yes. Oh, who is he? I don't know. Somebody you don't know, you allow the person to carry you. Why can't you disappear? I am in somebody's body. Oh, clap for Jesus Christ.
Do you listen to that? For you to know that it's not a small girl. It's telling me things of the spirit. He say, I'm somebody's body. It's not carrying the real body that is talking. He say, he cannot carry the real body. The real body is somewhere, but the body is carry is just ordinary body. But it's somebody's body. She know what she is saying. It's not a kid. Say in the name of Jesus and carry her on the floor. In the name of Jesus. The job is done. It's running for the father now. If you near her, it will run. Near her. Uh-huh. Because you have done something now. Run after her. <laughs> Call her now. Come here. Because he cannot near him. Before now, he toasts you like bread. You used to see her in the dream. Yes, man of God. Now he cannot near you again. Even he will not be able to go home with you unless he's delivered. What you see now is light. He's afraid. You can't carry her again because she will not even follow you unless she's delivered. Because you are not for her again. Thank you, Go and wait there. Thank you, this is what everybody needs. Go this way. Go and meet your dad. Meet your dad. Meet your dad. Meet your dad. Move close. Move close. Move close. In the name of Jesus. My name is Vivian Prince Wilson and, and I'm from Nigeria, but I'm residing in South Africa. And the man standing beside me is my dad. The problem that brought us to the Synagogue Church of All Nations was that I was possessed with the spirit of witchcraft. It all started when, when we visited a woman in 2009 and she, and she offered us a drink. Since that time, I've been seeing myself and a demon following me behind. And there was a time when we were watching news and a man had a plane crashed and was surviving from drinking his urine. Then I went to the toilet, which my dad never knew what I was going there to do. When I got there, that demon told me that I should urinate in a bowl and drink. Then I did so, and I flushed an empty toilet. Since that time, I've been drinking my own urine. And the demon also pushed me into eating my hair, picking my nose, and eating the dirty from my ear, which also made me chew my fingernails. And by that time, I was very big and very fat. As you can see, I have lost so much weight. This demon pushed me into doing so many things that affected my dad's career. By now, he was supposed to be in England, because, but because I was... I was um, Possessed with the spirit of witchcraft, I made it not to happen. So, so any time he, he takes me, picks me from school, I would always look dirty and I was also addicted to eating sand. That demon liked every, everywhere to be dirty to the extent I can stay two months without taking a shower. My mom w- would force me that I have to take a shower before I would agree. Even when taking a shower, I would be very angry with her. Glory be to God, I have been delivered. And since my deliverance, I've been, ve- I've been relating with my parents and my younger ones. That spirit pushed me into having the spirit of anger, which any time my mother or father talked to me, I would get angry and de- at them and abuse them. But now I, I am relating with them and I'm very, very light and I have lost much weight. And I thank God for delivering me. Emmanuel. My name is Prince Wilson Olomu. I'm a Nigeria based in South Africa. As you have seen in the clip, that day was my wonderful day in my entire life. It started in South Africa when we are watching Emmanuel TV, when man of God was praying a mass prayer. Then my daughter started manifesting. She started vomiting and coughing. Then I confronted her. I said, who are you? What is wrong with you? Then the spirit in her started speaking. He said a lot of things. Then I decided to bring her down to scorn for a proper deliverance. The day we came, that is what happened, what you saw in the clips. There are a lot of things happening with her before her deliverance. She was eating a lot of things that human being doesn't eat. 
She ate the hair of all part of her body. She sniffed petrol. She ate the dirt. A lot of things that human being doesn't eat. She ate. And that is the result of how she was caused to be fat, as you saw in the clips. And a lot of problems happening in my marriage and in my career entirely. She was very, very aggressive to her younger ones. And she always see her mother as a rival to her, not like a mother. She hates her. She hates her mom. She hates me as well. And she always appeared to me in my dream, attacking me in various ways and attacking my career as well. You brought her here after the spirit within her manifested when watching Emmanuel TV. Now, we've seen what happened in the clip. Tell us, ever since this deliverance, what are the changes? Uh, after since this deliverance, there are a lot of changes in the entire family and in her life as well. Uh, any day I am not at home, she's like the father in the house. She takes care of her mom, takes care of the younger ones. She do things that you will know truly that a deliverance has taken place in her life. And God imparts her with a divine wisdom that she behaves like a normal child ought to behave. Well, let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. So you mean ever since then, your daughter has been behaving completely normally. She's very intelligent in school. She's now loving the family and behaving completely like a normal child. Yes, sir. And I got a clip of her, how she looked like now. This is the very person you saw in the clips there. Wow, thank you, Jesus Christ. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. You said before she used to eat many strange things. She used to attack you in the dream. Tell us, have all of those things stopped? Yeah, all those things have stopped. Presently now, she is the neatest in the family. Any death irritate her seriously as a result of her deliverance. As a result of this deliverance, there are a lot of peace in my marriage now and in my career. And as a result of that deliverance, I was able to have my own house in South Africa, which I bought without owning a pen. And as a result of the deliverance as well, I and my family all, we are able to have a permanent resident in South Africa, which I can show you the picture of my family. This is the certificate of the proof of our permanent resident in South Africa, the whole family. And as well, this is my ID from South Africa. My career has been so great now since after the deliverance. Before the deliverance, uh, my legs were swelling I can't even use it as a soccer player. But after I came here with her, after the deliverance, when I went back home, without using any medication, everything went clean. And I was restored as the way God has created me. Thank you, Jesus Christ. We can just hear the blessings that God has brought into this family. Sir, you even said that, as we saw in the clip, that your daughter was very fat because of the, the things she was eating and how this evil spirit was occupying her body. But right now, her health, how is her health and how is her body now? Her health is perfectly well now. In regard to her body, you have seen the picture of her, how she looks slim and tall. Okay, we can see again here the picture of that little girl that we saw manifesting earlier, and indeed this is the evidence that Jesus Christ has completely delivered her. Some years after the deliverance, you can see that she's completely back to normal, and we give all the glory to God Almighty. My advice to viewers around the world and the people present here, as a parent, when man of God is praying, don't concentrate on yourself only or your wife. The children are very, very important. Bring them around because devil is a very tricky spirit. You will take them away. You will think that they are playing. But Satan don't want them to receive their deliverance. Make sure that they are around you and pray together with them. You will see the hand of God in their life. And my second advice is, all viewers all over the world and the people present here, let our prayers always be 
If God sent man of God to deliver you, that may you receive your deliverance anywhere you are. For distance is not a barrier. Amen. Let's put our hands together for our Lord Jesus Christ. Indeed, distance is not a barrier. And we believe our brothers, uh, word of advice is a great encouragement to viewers around the world. During the course of today's service, Prophet T.B. Joshua will begin to pray for the viewers. Wherever you are, join by faith, connect with that prayer, bring your family together, and allow the anointing of God to touch you wherever you are in the world, and you too will share your own testimony. Well, brother, we encourage you to continue to bring up this uh, beautiful girl in the ways of the Lord and your family, and definitely the best is yet to come in Jesus' name. Amen. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button as a way to support the channel. We are grateful for all your efforts.